Hi guys, welcome back uh, to the uh, Mindworks channel. And uh, today uh, uh, I'm bringing the second episode of the uh, of the session on uh, 120 day plan to crack cat. And uh, today's session we are looking at quantitative aptitude. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, session is about uh, uh, is part of a seven minute explainers. I've already done one session which you'll see in the playlist. This is part of the playlist, so you'll see that first session. Uh, on the playlist uh, uh, for this 120 day plan so uh, in that i've talked about the need to to do uh, to do your uh, your con your your tests etc and and start correlating what you are doing right now in various sections with the tests so from today onwards we are going to look at and the next few episodes of this course we're going to look at uh, the the uh, section wise strategy and i'm talking about quantitative aptitude today so here goes so uh, what, what should be your, your structure and your strategy be for QA? So obviously the first thing uh, to, to understand at this point, you really can't, can't, can't get into an open-ended preparation structure any longer. So you need to first audit uh, yourself. And the audit should be on two, two dimensions. Uh, as I said, you need to, when, before you start planning a course of action, before you plan, start planning what your first focus has to be to understand ki where you are right now. So the audit will be on two dimensions. One dimension of the audit will be your, your uh, test scores. How much are you scoring per section in, the, in that section? In the quants, when you take a 40 minute uh, mock, mock, whether it's a uh, section test or a full length test, are you scoring 20s, are you scoring 10s, are you scoring 30s, are you scoring 50s? Where are you? And hence, where you, and, and the other part of it is where do you want to be? So if you're scoring 20s, you want to be in 50s, you're scoring 30s, you want to be in 60s, or you are scoring 30s, you want to be in 40s, you have to have a plan. The plan only, only starts off working or, or starts uh, getting initiated once you have ki where am, am I and where, where, I, where do I want to be. So you should have a structure. The first part of your audit should, should tell you something like that. And this will of course uh, get correlated to your test scores, how much you are scoring in your mocks, etc. So 20s to 50s, this is what I want to do. Or minimum 40s. And of course, uh, getting from 20s to 50s involves first getting to 40s and then getting to 50s. And then once you, uh, the, the other part of this audit is your uh, block wise or, or chapter wise audit. And you know the portion, I'm just very quickly, I'm not going to go into the individual parts of the portion, block 2, 3, those chapters as I define it in my, in my books. Block 1 is number systems progressions, uh, block 4 is geometry, mensuration and coordinate geometry. And... Uh, Block five is these chapters, and typically you will see that uh, you get around ten to fourteen questions on block two, three, ten to twelve maybe, nine to twelve questions on block two, three out of twenty-six, uh, maybe three to seven questions on block one, three to seven questions on geometry mensuration block four, and uh, maybe five to eight questions on uh, on functions and and uh, inequalities and logs and quadratics, and you might you might maybe get a two three questions on on this area. So that is how your 26 questions and most likely there's going to be a, a 40 minute uh, paper or a two minute two hour exam. And we'll talk about that in a separate lesson. So once you uh, have uh, defined your, your, your test course based audit, the other audit is, is the chapter wise or the block wise audit. In which each of these dimensions, where are you? I mean, in each of these blocks, where are you? Where, where, what are the areas in which round one is still left for you? The first round of doing it. What are the areas in which round twos are done? And in which area do you now need to move to round two? Because ultimately when you're trying to move your scores up from 20s to 50s, please remember don't, don't prepare in a vacuum. Vacuum preparation means that we portion complete and we see what the score will be. Don't do that. You should be very aware of how much you're scoring. Even if you've not completed your complete uh, portion, do start taking your tests and start understanding you okay, can 6 minutes in 40 minutes, I can do 7 or 20 marks are coming marks. You have to have that, that kind of a mindset of a, of a message inside your head so that you can then say, ki, okay, I have not done these chapters, when I do these chapters, I will reach 10 with these chapters, so I will reach 30. Then you will also have to see how you will reach 30 to 50. Kaise How will you get from 30 to 50 that you will still have to plan and, and start working on. So you will have to look at round ones. Round one, con con sa obviously you'll have to complete round one. Do not do selective studying. I've talked to you about that many times. Don't try to uh, say that, okay, ye chapter chhod dete hain. Koi chapter ko kam kar sakte ho, koi chapter ko jyada depth mein kar sakte ho, but don't try to leave a chapter. 
that's that's dangerous which chapters are round 2s then what which chapters are round 2s left and hence uh, when do you want to do your round 2s when 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 in which which blocks do you want to initiate your round 2s so you might have a situation where you correlate with the test that <coughs> that block 2 23 you you are getting between 9 to 11 questions which are coming in the exam in your test and you able you have done round 1 on that and you able to solve four to five questions only and the other four, five to six questions some of them you know but you are not able to convert in the exam that's a clear indication of a new round required and any time you realize that there are questions in the inside the test and most of you will will see that when you do your mock test that there are questions inside the test that you can't solve under pressure but later when you solve it yourself under without without time pressure afterwards in the analysis you realize you can solve it so that's a clear indication that if, even if you have done done round 1 on that topic round 2 is required and some topics you might have done a round 2 and still this is happening that means you go back to that once more and please remember one more thing when you're doing the audit uh, or or uh, when you're doing these rounds uh, you you need to uh, differ, divide your task also into these two dimensions which is how much assisted problem solving have you done how much assisted problem solving do you need more and how much self problem solving have you done and how much self solving problem solving do you need more these two questions how much have you done and how much do you need more right so if you think that you've done enough assisted problem solving then your your work will shift maybe to self problem solving that you have you are you are you are deficient on on the topic and please please remember one thing uh, the moment you get to the moment you get to 200 questions that's the general thumb rule for all chapters the moment you get to 200 questions done ki maine 200 questions self problem solving se kar liye hain more or less you should be able to convert those and if you've done around 2 and around 3 on those 200 questions most of the time you'll be able to convert those into your into your mock scores you might still get some questions which are outside that for which you might need to get there but you will definitely get to your 40s and 50s score wise if you can get to self problem solving of 200 questions so you define a target for every chapter the only chapter where the 200 question number is 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 uh, uh, is changed are chapters like number systems time speed distance functions and equations these four chapters mein and maybe geometry these five chapters mein the self problem solving has to be around 400 to 500 questions so you have to make sure that you analyze how much assisted problem solving you have done and how much self problem solving you have done and there has to come a point of time where you stop doing assisted problem solving and you only do self problem solving because this is what will take you across the scoring barrier so this is a overall strategy these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind and i hope uh, uh, i hope you have understood this i'll talk about revisions etc how to do revision etc in the next uh, session or a separate session i'll do somebody has been asking uh, me about that uh, and uh, uh ashudosh has also asked me about that in the chat so i'll i'll do that maybe later but don't forget the last part just go ahead and do it right so that's about it from me the seven minutes are over an indication for me to stop i uh, just wanted to uh remind you about the arun sharma cat challenge this is a series of tests that we are doing it's it's a mock test series at mindworks uh these are the prominent features you'll get 25 mock cats nine replicates and around 20 odd tests for the other exams uh so a total of 56 full length mocks you have around 18 sectional mocks overall on all sections combined and uh, you got something called mini cats and the cat scan so you can you can just uh, go on to the mindworks.in website www.mindworks.in and uh, subscribe to that in case you're looking at uh, joining a test series and uh, also check out our courses on mindworks.in the other courses we have a courses on cat ip mat and clat currently so do do uh, i look forward to some of you coming in and joining us and uh, i'll be back with the next lesson very soon bye bye